woman with a partner who has gone their entire life childless. I have to respond to this video. Oh my gosh. So I am 55 years old, child free by choice. I knew at the age of seven years old that I would never want to have children. And by the grace of God, that, have, that decision has never wavered. I also knew that if I ever got to be the old age of in my 50s like I am now, and if I ever wanted kids, I could always adopt, right? So to what does it look like for me being child free by choice at the age of seven, since the age of seven? It has meant a life of complete and total freedom, a life of joy, a life of non-aging as we can see. There's no filler or Botox in this face. It has meant that I was able to retire from corporate America at the age of 38 years old to travel the world and live abroad in luxury and style. And I'm still doing that all these years later, all these decades later. Um, I live abroad, I travel, I have businesses, I have money. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't have stress, I don't have worry, I have joy. It's amazing being child free for me. Now to all of your friends and family that are telling you that you're gonna somehow be jealous of those that have children and you're gonna have all this regret, don't believe them. What they're telling you is a total lie and it is a complete and total scam. Trust me, those of us that are child-free by choice have never looked at our friends that have kids and said, oh, I really wish I would have made that choice. No, said none of us ever. In fact, people that, are that have children, and God bless you. You guys, parenthood is one of the hardest things you could ever do in life. God bless all parents, Lord knows. But parents look at us that are child-free and they channel that as jealousy of us because we have our freedom. So I just call it as it is. Don't hate the player, hate the game. So what I wanna to say to you is, do you make your own choices, live your own life, and enjoy your peace. And if you're soliciting advice from these people, please don't solicit it. And if they offer it, which people tend to do that have children, why don't you just like go raise your kids and be happy and do you? It's so weird. It's really weird, people. It's weird. Um, if they give that advice, just let them know that you don't need it and, and you're good. So I hope this helps. Being child free at 55 years old means complete and total joy, more choices. You know, last summer, because Mexico where I live is so hot, I moved to Istanbul, Turkey for the whole summer, had a ball. This summer I'll be in Europe gallivanting around, having a free hot girl summer. So being child free equals freedom. I wish the best to you. And if you decide you wanna change it in the future, you can always freeze your eggs now and have kids later by surrogate or what have you. You can always adopt or you can get a puppy. <laughs> All right, I hope this helps. I mean, here's the thing. Times are changing every day and it's very disappointing to see a black female at her age speak such nuance and think that she's actually giving some type of wisdom. And a lot of times you have females like this that just want to breed more of their very harmful thinking and they think somehow this is gonna elevate the younger females when really all it's doing is destroying the young females, it's destroying legacy, it's destroying generations. And this is why black people as a community with females like her, all they do is drag us down. That's all they do. And it's funny because she will say she hasn't aged when she clearly has aged. And then towards the end of the video, she will give you all these other options just in case you choose to have a child that really are the worst case scenarios. So even with everything that she said, once you hit a certain age, it's always going to be too late. So the fact that she will sell dreams and say that there's always going to be an option in case you change your mind, that's not the case. It's either you choose to do it or it's too late to do it. And to me, there's nothing fulfilling about anything that she's saying and her lifestyle. There's nothing fulfilling about it because you could have that and more even with your family and that is more long lasting because when she hits the grave that is it for her lifeline that is it for her name her legacy 
everything that she's speaking of now, everything that she's teaching now, will go to the dust with her. And this is why a lot of times people say, are you sure this is the route you want to take? Because you are leaving nothing behind. Especially for black communities, we aren't the strongest. And it's filled with self-hatred and these young black females even mid 20s mid 30s females they're so degenerate and they don't want to do anything that actually will help them and their children that we are just going further further away from who we truly supposed to be or actually being in a better place and it's because of females like this with this mindset and it's if you choose to not have a child cool but i do think there needs to be an honest conversation about the consequences of it and if you want to share your perspective well at least give us the truth about it and don't make it seem as if it's so sweet because it ain't there is nothing sweet about being alone for so long and having no real purpose she's just floating through life she's just traveling dating if she's even dating and doing nothing but that achieved nothing has nothing except for corporate america the same america that don't even respect you And if she really thinks feminism does, well, I can now clearly see why she's where she's at. And the older you get, you have to hold on to this mentality because you cannot look like a failure. Especially when she's this old. The last thing she's going to do is go back and say, I made a mistake and I regret it. Because she actively chose to be a failure. So a lot of times modern females her age won't tell you the truth because they cannot admit to themselves because when they were in their 20s in their 30s people warned them people tried to speak to them but when they hit a certain age where they can't look back you need to understand it's also an ego thing so even the parts where she may not enjoy she may be unhappy she won't share that with you because she spent too much of her life thinking that she was right because feminism told her she was right please tell me what your life is like i often get in shit on tiktok for saying like this is how a child-free person does xyz or this is the day in the life of a child-free person people are like why do you need to put in there that you're child-free what difference does it make And the reason I do that is because I want women like the person who I'm stitching to see what a life without children can look like. I'm 39 and I'm child free. And my experience of being child free was that when my partner decided that he wanted to have children, we'd been together for five years and he actually left our relationship. So I had to decide very, very sure that I was willing to let my partner go in exchange for living a child-free life. I really loved my partner a lot. And a lot of people were telling me that it was crazy to let him go and not just have a baby with him. I knew in my heart and in my gut that I didn't want to be a parent, but after we separated, it was really hard for me to visualize what my life would look like. I could see what my life would look like if he and I had stayed together. I would be with him and we'd have like a house and a baby and a family and like great in-laws and a white picket fence, the whole thing. But because we are never shown examples in media or pop culture about what it looks like to be a woman who doesn't have children, I had no idea what my life would look like if I didn't go down the path that everyone expected me to go down. It felt really lonely and strange and I had to go seek out other women who had also made that choice. So that's why I always say in my videos, this is what the day in the life of a child-free artist looks like because I want women who don't want to have kids to have an example of what your life can look like. A lot of times, these modern females, 
they were not only lied to by feminism, but they bought the lie and lied to themselves. This is the face of failure. Because a lot of times modern females, they will take a route or route all the way and they can never go back. Once they've hit the wall, they can't go back. You can't go back to getting the man that you want, having the family that you want, having the home that you want. That chapter is over. It's like knowing the answers to a test that you already failed. It's too late, you can't take the test again. And that is why they are the face of failure because no matter how much they say this and that and how happy they are, even though this female looks so very much unhappy, she looks like a single mum. She looks like she's depressed. That is what I get. I get I am depressed. I don't have anything to live for. I don't have anything to pursue. I don't have anyone to even comfort me in this moment because I lost the person I love because I didn't want to have a family with him. And he didn't want to stay because he wanted a family. She can't go back. She is having to live with that. But she ain't going to admit that either because what you need to understand is that a lot of times these modern females had this very feminism mindset that gave them the drive to go full speed in this lifestyle that they chose. Even when they crash, and they crash real hard as you can see, but you can't do anything about it so all you got to do now is embrace your failures and that's what they do they sell the same lie that they bought and they rather live in a delusion than face the fact that they failed because modern females don't take rejection well and we all know this so you need to understand is that failure to females is like rejection every single day is realizing that you rejected life it didn't reject just you you rejected it now you're in a place where you're just always going to be rejected because you rejected life. You said no to life. You said no to family. You said no to a husband. You said no to grandchildren. You said no to family events. You said no to having a legacy, having a future, having a retirement with an actual husband and doing things that is lasting and fulfilling. You rejected life. And when they get to that age, they realize I rejected life, but they don't take rejection well. So what they do is they just live in a delusion and try and sell it, try and sell that I'm actually happy. I'm actually doing great. This life that I chose is probably the best life that I ever chose. And you gotta join me too when we can clearly see she don't look like she's living her best life. And that's the point is that they will always say one thing but they don't really mean it and they will never tell you the truth because they don't want to be the face of failure and they don't want anyone to see that they are the face of failure. So I was dating this guy, kind of rich and he asked me out of the blue, would you date a struggling guy? Mm -hmm. And I said no. And he said, you know, to me you're the struggling guy i haven't healed yet <laughs> wow. fam plot twist plot her twist. world would have been rushed. she felt wined and dined and in that setting yeah she doesn't understand why she's being attacked yeah yeah fine she doesn't understand Fact. i'm just here for food and give you that's all i'm here for let me know what you guys think. How do you think modern females actually cope with not being where they know deep down they're supposed to be? Is it feminism that helps them? Is it corporate America? Is it independency? Which one is it? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.